Hi, and welcome to Learn from the Experts, sponsored by Women's Business Owner Alliance, better known as WBOA. And today I have with me Emily Fox, and she has business. What is your business, Emily? Well, my business is called Emily Fox Trot, and I teach dance. I teach ballroom, Latin, swing, and country dance, and I specifically focus on working with people who are getting ready for a wedding or for some other special event. Fun. It that is. That is a fun job. It is. It's not like the nine to five grind. No, it's not. So you're lucky. That's great. Um, so I know, oh, there's so many questions I want to ask you. My sister is a natural dance. Uh -huh. You know, she's so natural, and she's been doing ballroom dancing forever. Oh, really? And every time we've gotten together, and I, they try to teach me something, I feel like a, I have ten left feet. Never mind two. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. are some people more natural at it, or? Yes, of course. We all have natural aptitudes towards different things. Some people are good in the kitchen. Some people right. are good athletes. Some people are natural dancers. But really anybody can learn to dance. Okay. I like to say that if you can walk and you can count to eight, you can learn to dance. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. And so what are some benefits maybe of it? Oh, there are a lot of benefits for dancing. One is that it's fun and who could not use more fun in their life, okay? True. It's a good physical exercise. It's a great stress reducer. I can't tell you how many times I've been concerned about something and the hour or two I spend teaching or studying, the rest of the world completely disappears. And it is also good for our mind. They've done research that shows that doing social dancing uh, is really good for staving off the declining of the brain as we get older and it's also a great way to meet people you know as we are not in college anymore and life is so busy it's hard to meet new people it and is. this is an excellent way to do so so if someone is a like a single or their or their significant other isn't interested they can yes, still go totally totally because what happens out in the dance world is that people um, uh, dance with each other. They rotate through the classes. The different leaders will dance with the different followers. You don't have to do that. If you come with a partner and that's who you want to dance with, you can do that. But you learn a tremendous amount by dancing with a variety of different partners. That's great. And could yeah. it be, say, short term? Like, say, you had mentioned if somebody's getting married. Or oh, yes. So you do some of that? Oh, yeah. I've done a lot of work with people who have a specific event coming up, and they want to be prepared for that event. I'll work with them, and then they won't come for more lessons. On the other hand, I've had some great experiences, actually, with parents of people getting married, and they want to ha feel confident and like they know what they're doing on the dance floor. And they have so much fun that they come back after the wedding's over, and they've kept taking private lessons or gone on and taken more classes. So that's been a lovely surprise. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sure. But that kind of makes sense. That does sound like fun. Now, is there s more simple dances? Like if Definitely. There are some that are more easy entry kind of dances. So if you were talking about the Latin dances, merengue is very simple. Um, salsa is a really popular dance that a lot of people like learning. And then if you're talking more the American style dances in the ballroom dances, there's waltz. And really the crowd pleaser is East Coast Swing. And one of the great things about swing is that it's a fairly easy dance to learn. And you can do it to music from the 20s up until now, very, uh, you know, traditional big band music up to contemporary music. So it's very, very versatile. It would be rare to have an event with an evening's worth of music where you wouldn't have a number of opportunities to be doing East Coast Swing Dance. Really? Yeah. I always would think that swing would be hard. So. Oh, no, it's not. If you're interested, I'd be happy to show you some. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, we'll have to do that, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. So what sets you apart from, say, other instructors? Well, um, I have trained in a variety of different movement styles and martial arts, and I draw on things that I've learned from all these different uh, systems, and I bring them into my teaching. The other thing is I, I'm interested in what I'm teaching, but I'm also very interested in how people learn, and so I tailor the lessons to the individual. I use a lot of analogies, so if I know what somebody's line of work is, I'll be thinking of ways to express what we're going to be doing in terms terms that they can relate to and with concepts that they can relate to. Oh. And I also have a background as a massage therapist and so I'm very tuned into 
uh, what's going on with tension in the body, and I know when people need some guidance about relaxing during the lesson, and also how to dance with more relaxation. Right. So all of that's been been useful. That's great because I I've noticed even no matter what I'm doing, if I'm relaxed, even if it's a crossword puzzle, I mean, if I'm relaxed, everything can just flow. Right. Totally. If you get up tense, exactly, you can't. exactly. And one of the things about me is I take what I do seriously, but I'm a pretty relaxed person. I'm. Uh, I don't need to do things in a traditional standard or standard way. So if people bring in an unusual song or want to do an unusual dance style, I am fine with that. And I don't have a strict structure about how many lessons people need to take. Okay. If they want to kick it up just a notch from the traditional swaying back and forth for the first dance for three minutes, <laughs> which could be very stressful for the couple and not so interesting to watch, I can show them how to enhance that and make it a little more, more interesting. On the other hand, if they bring in a song and they really want to know what are the dance basics that go with that song, I will teach them basic steps of the style that go with that song. Or if they want something really spectacular, I've had a number of couples come in who are not dancers and they want to blow everybody's mind. So they bring me their song and I do a little assessment of what I believe their capacity is and then I choreograph them a piece that's tailored to their needs, that goes to their song and they'll come for a number of lessons and basically blow everybody's mind. That is so fun. It's very, very fun and I've heard from people that um, it's enhanced their experience of getting ready for a wedding because instead of just having a to-do list where you're checking off all these activities, you actually have a time with your uh, spouse-to-be where you're working on growing something together and learning a skill together in the midst of all of the stress and pressure leading up to the event. Yes. And Many people have told me that guests have come up and said that it was the most memorable aspect of the reception. And so the couple will have their own memories and they'll have fantastic photographs while they're dancing and the guests who attended will also have memories. And so um, I, I like to help people enhance their experience that way. Yeah, that sounds fabulous. And it is a whole package. Like yes, it said. is. That's yes, great. it is. So yeah. probably some people can do well in the group setting that yes. we hear about, but then yes. others might, like if you're working with these couples, they do well one-on-one -on -one sometimes. Exactly. I do group classes, but if somebody's coming for something specific, then yes, I am going to work with them uh, as a couple and what their uh, music is and what their dance style is and attending to their specific level and needs. Great. Yeah. So that sounds fun. So it made me interested in learning how to dance. Yes. So can you teach me like a step or something? I can sure teach you a step, yes. Okay. So what will, what will it be? Um, I'm thinking we're just going to do a very basic East Coast swing step. And we're going to do a basic, and I'm going to send you out in a turn, and then you're going to come back to me. That sounds fun. Okay, let's give it a shot. Great. Okay, so we are going to start by getting in partner position. I'm going to have you come over and stand with me, so we're making a little V. I'm going to have my hand on your shoulder blade so you're nice and secure here, and I'm going to take this hand and place it up on my arm just a hair below my shoulder. Then I'm going to put my hand here and you're going to put your hand in mine and just let your elbow relax down. Good. Do you feel kind of relaxed here? Mm -hmm. Nice. So now we're going to do some weight shifting, which is the basis of all dance, really, shifting your weight from foot to foot. So we're going to let our weight shift forward and back and forward and back and forward Ooh, and I back. I feel you holding, like, leading me with your hand. That's yes, great. I am. Yeah. I am actually leading you. Yes. And so let's take a tiny step forward so we have room in front of the table. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to take your right foot and bring it back behind you and do what we call a rock step. Watch me here for a moment. I go rock step. I go back on the ball of my foot and lift up the front foot. That's it. That's rock step. Let's do another rock step. Good. We're going to put these two things together. We're going to step forward, step back, and do a rock step. Five, six, here we go. Step, step, rock, step. Stay, say this with me. Step, step rock, rock step, 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 rock, step, step, step. 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 And we'll rock, stop step. right there. Yeah. How's that feeling? Good. Good, okay. Now, I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work with the microphones, but what I would like you to do is do a little turn to the right. 
I'm going to demonstrate this for you so you okay. get an idea of where we're going. If I were you, I would be standing here, mm -hmm. always starting on your right foot as a follower. I would take a little turn to the right and another little turn to the right, and then I'm going to be standing here and you're going to rock step. You're going to take a little turn to the left. It's fine because <laughs> I'll be guiding you okay. and you'll take another little turn and you rock step. Okay, it might not work out right the first time. Okay. That's why it's called learning. Okay. So you come here with me and you're going to say step, step, rock, step the whole time. Kay. Never stop saying that. Rock, I'm going to guide step. step. Okay. Step, 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 step rock, rock, step, 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 step rock, rock, step, step, step. step. We'll rock, do a basic. Step, step, another basic. Step, step, step. Rock, Turn to your step, right. Step, 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 rock, step, 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 step rock, step. step. You oh look my surprised. Gosh, I am surprised. Rock, step, 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 rock, step, 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 step rock, step. step. Hello. Yay! That, that was, was awesome. You and did we didn't even practice. No, we didn't. <laughs> so is that the first time you've ever done that? Yes. You should be taking dance lessons. Uh huh. Totally. That was fun. Good. I good. didn't really think I could do it. I was really, especially being on a camera and stuff, I was I like, know. I'm going to totally flub this. I could tell that you were a little anxious about it, and it was a very brave thing you did. I think for a lot of adults, it's an incredibly brave thing to take a step outside their comfort zone. Right. Because, you know, when you're a kid, you're making mistakes all the time. It's just part of life as you're learning how things go. But then as we grow up, Yes, you're right. We're used to being competent all the time. Right. And to take a step into something where you don't know you're going to be able to get it right is hugely important. Yes. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Good. Well, I'm thank so you. glad you had a good time. I had my first dance lesson. Yes. I hope it's not your last. No, I think it's not going to be. So, Emily, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. And I hope somebody learned something. So uh, thank you for being with us today. And if you'd like to learn more about Emily and what she offers, you can go to WBOA.org and just look up her name, Emily Fox, and her information will be there. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you learned something. Thank you.